Okay, the same way the iPad 10 was the most important subject of this channel previous year, the same is happening a 7th generation mini whose arrival is anticipated next year. And while there haven't been a lot of new information about Cupertino's upcoming small ass tablet, there's a lot of space for guessing and the only thing we can do is sum up everything as close as possible what this release may include. Question for you, do you expect big changes with the next iPad mini? Please answer in the comment section below. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Markings. I'm the channel's host Marco and this is your dose of latest Apple news leaked information, tech rumors and product reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This video is sponsored by Inu, a leading innovator in mobile power and charging accessories. These guys have sent me their newly released 140 watts fast charge power bank B64 with a huge 27,000 mAh capacity. It's absolutely amazing, it's really well built and it has size and weight which is understandable. This power bank allows you to charge up to three devices simultaneously through one USB-A and two USB-C ports, while tracking essential information such as input, output and remaining power, which is visible on its smart LED display. B64 also allows you to recharge it while powering other devices. It's perfect as a travel companion for your laptop, tablet or smartphone. And what matters the most, it's safe with 15 layers of protection against short circuit, over voltage, over discharge, and it's fully airport friendly. In EU additionally included 3-in-1 foldable wireless charging pad and a stand with 15 watts magnetic multifunction. You can use it as a stand while powering your iPhone or you can charge your smartphone, Apple Watch and AirPods all at once with TempGuard 2.0 ensuring the temperature is full under control. These products come with 3 years of warranty and their prices are awesome. Check out the link in the description and in a pinned comment. The iPad mini has always been unique product category, made specifically for users that want great all-arounder in the smallest form factor possible. While Apple wasn't very generous and keen with this model in the past due to long breaks between new releases, the last two iterations have been unveiled in two years time span. The fifth generation was announced in 2019 while most recent iteration has followed two years after. Judging by this release pattern, many fans express hope that 2023 will be the year of its successor. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because Apple was focused on featuring Vision Pro. But according to published information by some major industry insiders, 2024 looks promising for iPad, with iPad mini being one of the most important ones. What we know so far, if we are to trust analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, is that Apple could unveil miniature iPad in the second half of the next year. As I said previously, its predecessor has been introduced two years ago in September, alongside iPhone 13 lineup. Since we have missed this year and a lot of leaked information is pointing at spring as the schedule for two new iPad Air and iPad Pro models, we can assume that 7 Gen is destined for second or third quarter of 2024. Truth to be told, it's not common that we get new iPads during WWDC event, but we have to leave this possibility open, especially since we are getting new iPad OS, but I tend to lean more towards September, maybe third week. The good news is, I doubt there will be changes in pricing unless we really see something different and with that I'm talking about performance. Based on all available rumors, the biggest change on this model should be the chip. As I have said previous time when talking about this tablet, even if many of us wanted to see M-Class Silicon, it's highly unlikely this will happen. But in 2024, Apple will have more options at their disposal. Current iPad mini is powered by Cupertino's A15 processor, a powerful chip paired with 4 gigs of RAM, available in 64 gigs and 256 gigs configuration. In case we got its successor in 2023, it would be easy to predict what could be be its main driving force, A16 that has been introduced in 2022. In the meanwhile, Apple has showcased all new processor A17 Pro with the most recent Pro iPhones. It is certain there will be another chip next year, and latest leaks are suggesting two editions, A18 and A18 Pro. 
This means we can discuss multiple options, A16, A17 Pro, and standard A18, I assume. As I said a couple of times before, having M-class silicon within Air and Pro iPads opens sufficient space to Apple to experiment and to take more than just incremental steps for its smallest tablet, so anticipating a bit bigger improvement with something like more RAM, for example, is possible even if it's just a pure speculation. If Cupertino's giant really decides to unleash two versions of A18 chip, as rumors and leaked iOS code suggests, I would assume that there will be two options remaining on the table, A16 and A18. If you recall, iPad mini 6 didn't feature A15 one year later, but at the same time when this processor was introduced, and this could easily happen again, and hoping for 6 or up to 8 gigs of RAM would be amazing scenario. I mean, why not? Add on top of that increase of base storage to 128 gigs, something that I've been rumbling about for some time, it would be top notch. I could bet that in that case, Apple would want more money for such a product. But I can't go too far without trying to sustain my expectations and going for more incremental path with a 16 4 gigs of RAM and good old 64 gigs of storage for $499 as a starting point. Something that Apple will decide. When talking about other upgrades, details are more simple. There will be no screen size increase or redesign in any scenario. 8.3 inch diagonal is here to stay for the upcoming two years minimum, so don't expect radical changes yet. The same goes with its shooters, which will be more capable thanks to its better chip, but camera hardware will likely remain identical to the existing one. The biggest mystery about 7 generation mini will be position of the front facing camera. Could it go sideways as 10 generation iPad? I already said I'm pessimist about this since it appears that Apple prefers this tablet used vertically, which is also one of potential reasons why they didn't make a smart folio keyboard for it yet. I believe that USB-C connector will support faster speeds within 2024 iPad mini, as well as almost certain inclusion of a couple of other up-to-date internals. The next year we also anticipate Apple Pencil 3 alongside the new iPad Pro lineup, but the iPad mini 7 will rely on generation 2 as well as the most recent USB-C ready Apple stylus. Whatever improvement Apple decides to bring, it will be more than welcome, although it would be shame if it's just an incremental considering where their flagship and mid-range tablets have gone with M-class silicon. What I do know is that there will be concerns about the display, since some users weren't happy with jelly scrolling effects on the existing iPad mini model. Will Apple fix that by bringing faster screen refresh rate? I doubt that. Some hardware changes are possible though, and we will see in the upcoming months. In the meanwhile, in order to stay up to date, please subscribe, slap that thumbs up, and turn on all notifications. I hope you had a good time watching this content. Thank you so much for visiting Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.